Breck Bassinger, Stargirl herself. What was your favorite moment of season two? Uh, of season two, that's a throwback. We filmed that a couple of years ago. Um, uh, the, the, I'm, ooh, I know, I know. The finale episode, I got like, um, not, what, uh, demon. Oh, you flew up into the sky with Sylvester. I did do that, working with Joel McHale. That was a huge highlight. Season three, he's series regular, so now I'm like, that's old news. I have so many scenes with Joel. Um, no, but when I get, like, eclipsed by Eclipso, and I got to, like, be, like, a demon mm -hmm. and be evil, because Stargirl never gets to be evil. How much time has passed when season three picks up? Uh, you're asking me all these tough questions. Like uh, months, years, no, 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 the no, next day? Months. It's, it's pretty recent after. Definitely not year. Has the team found stuff to do? Because at the beginning of season two, they're like, man, there's no crime to fight. I mean, when when there's superheroes, there will always be super villains. So we can only assume that some bad stuff starts happening. How do things stand with Cindy? Is she officially a part of the team yet? I mean, she definitely wants to be. <laughs> season three, called Frenemies. So I think Cindy would be considered a frenemy. Did the Crocs actually move next door, or was yes. that just a tease? No, definitely. The Crocs are living next door. Cindy wants to be part of the JSA. The Shade is in Blue Valley. So it's a whole town full of villains and heroes living together. We'll talk more about the theme for season three. Uh, I don't You know what? I'm just going to say it. So it's very... Have I said it? Go for it. Okay. You're like, go for it. Um, murder mystery. So season one, our tone was like coming of age, back to the future, karate kid. Season two was horror. Season three, murder mystery, and how evil and good are going to live in a town together and figure out who the murderer is. Well, the big tease at the end of season two was Mr. Bones. How quickly will, will he make his presence known? Uh, he, there's a, a couple of episodes really focused on that. Um, so he, you will get to see that storyline through. What's going on with Cameron? You know, he was kind of like painting that mural all season long. No. His voice kept getting deeper and deeper. Cameron? Yeah. The, my love interest? Yeah. Oh, isn't that the slowest burn relationship ever? I'm like, are we on CW or not? Like, let him kiss already. Um, That's right. You didn't even get that kiss last season. No, you you I, got interrupted by your phone. I don't even think we've held hands. Like, but yet, as of season two, season three, the slow burn finally catches on fire. There's so much clarity to Cameron and his story. Lastly, what's the relationship like between Courtney and Sylvester now that he's in town? So that's a very uh, tricky situation because obviously with Starman back, who will the staff go to? Who will the staff listen to? Who will take the staff? Um, but then also it's very, there's this struggle because Courtney for at one point thought Starman was her dad. Mm -hmm. um, so him being there, she really looks up to him in this father figure role. Like, will he come in and be able to, to do that and do what he what she expects of him? When you talk about the staff's confusion, are we going to see like Cosmo like whimpering, debating about who to go to? Yes, <laughs> like literally yes. <laughs> like the str the struggle of him just going back and forth. I love Cosmo. He's just like he's a little puppy dog. So it's like when the dog has two owners, like he wants to choose a favorite, but he doesn't know which one. Well, speaking of dogs, Stargirl actually has one of the best TV dogs. I know, Mr. Tank. That's his name in real life, is Tank. Uh, on the show, it's Buddy. My favorite scenes, sorry, Joel, sorry, Pat, Luke, um, are with Buddy. He, so first season, he was actually kind of a puppy. Now we're coming into third season. He's a more seasoned actor, but we still have to give him some more takes than the average actor. 